All right, so I'm here at the back of the Flak Panzer with Neil. Uh, would you mind just giving us a wee overview of what's been going on today? Okay, so far today, uh, we've determined that the uh, next part of the project is we're going to be concentrating on getting inside the hull, cleaning it out. That'll involve removing some of the pieces that will give us better access to uh, get inside and actually remove some of the major components, i.e. the engine and eventually the transmission as well. Today we're concentrating on the rear part of the tank, the engine compartment, and what we are going to be doing is removing the armor plating that uh, runs around the top of it. Uh, on the Panzer Mark IV, this particular plating is all bolted on and bolted together. That was the design of it. So as you can see here, we've already started, started to remove this series of bolts here, as well as this bottom set here, attach this heavy piece of angle iron, it bolts it down to the bottom. Carrying on here to the rest of them, that will allow us to pull apart and separate it, remove this back plate, and from there we will go at the side pieces of plate that also contain the engine grills, the armored engine grills for the air intakes. As I said, it's a series of bolts we all have to, we, is what will revolve to be re <laughs> involved to be removed. Some of them are coming easy, some of them are snapping on us and breaking off. They'll have to be drilled and retapped eventually, but uh, we're having pretty good luck. Again, using the reliable old horches, torches and penetrating oil to heat things up beforehand and uh, loosening them up to uh, pull out. So uh, what will be happening here once we get all these bolts out, this large section here, will come off. Hopefully we've got enough people and they've eaten enough Wheaties this morning that we'll be able to pick that up and uh, move it down by ourselves. It's going to be heavy but not uh, super heavy. After that we'll attack the two side pieces here uh, which are coming along nicely. They've been getting all the bolts off so far. We'll uh, maybe have to nick these welds here, remove that piece of angle iron, but of course that can be all welded back on in the future when the reassembly comes. As I said, why we're doing this, it's going to get, open this right up here, give us better access. We'll be able to get down inside the engine, ascertain the uh, engine, engine uh, mount bolts, where they are, what we'll need to remove them, and figure out what will have to be disconnected and uh, unfastened for us to get inside with a, some sort of an overhead crane and uh, lift the uh, Maybach engine out of it. Uh, From there, once that's out the way, that'll really opening things up inside and we'll be able to get down inside and attack the layers of rust and grime plus all the other horrible things that we've been finding that have accumulated over the last 70 years. Uh, basically, we'll get that cleaned out as much as you can. We'll carry on continue, continuing on, clearing out the interior, removing, photographing, of course, everything beforehand, have a record of it moving all the internal fixtures, the electrics and uh, any devices that are bolted to the hull. They'll be all labeled and we'll be able to move those out. Then we can then get in and actually sandblast the inside and uh, make any repairs to any of the metalwork and superstructure that have to be repaired. Uh, I'm talking a lot here and a lot to going on, but uh, so Rome wasn't built in the day, so we'll just carry on and uh, one piece at a time and take it from there. Can we lift up that end and get it a bit further on one of the blocks? Well, no, no, yeah, we just need the bar for that. A little bit. This is if you're in a good one. Where are we putting it this time? Okay, so it's the end of the day now. Uh, can you guys tell us what's been going on and if 
Guy, if you can tell us about what's been done to the turret since we last came. Sure. So I'll start with the turret and I'll let uh, Neil carry on with the, uh, the chassis. So as you can see, the turret has received a, a new coat of the paint that is pretty much a good match to the original that we managed to have locally produced. So thanks to Sherwin-Williams, uh, they provided the paint uh, part of their sponsorship for this program. And uh, yeah, we're quite pleased with the result and obviously it's going to need a bit more work, but uh, we're getting there, it's getting there. And eventually the chassis, the rest of the tank should be that color. And eventually we should be able to put on a camouflage pattern as well. Over to you, Neil. Okay, uh, today so far, uh, what we've accomplished is, what we set out to do was to remove the outer armor from around the engine compartment. As you can see, we've got the right side removed, the top uh, rear removed, the left, uh, left rear is ready to be removed. We've uh, a little bit more finaliking to go along there to uh, we've got a cable through it for the actual antenna feed for the uh, radio. It's ready to come off, so we'll probably next session that'll, that'll come off as well. The reason we did that today was, of course, to get, get more exposure to the inside the engine compartment so we can see what's going down in there for as far as corrosion, rust, and uh, what has to be preserved in there. So carrying on from carrying on to our next worst session from here, as I said, we'll be removing that other section of rear armor, the left uh, left upper. After that, we're going to remove the radiators, and after that, the all the other infrastructure of the cooling system, so that we can get at the engine and the engine mounts and uh, get those un, uh, unfastened, the uh, drive shaft disconnected from the front of it, and investigate how we're going to lift the thing out probably see from your uh, other films and photos you've taken, that's a gigantic engine in there, so uh, we're going to have to, as I said, get it unfastened, unbolted from the its mounts and get some sort of a lift mechanism in here to lift it, pull it straight up and uh, have some sort of a stand made up that we can set it on. Once that's done, that's going to free up the, the, engine, or the entire engine compartment and uh, much more room to work, we'll be able to get in there comfortably and uh, start doing the, the rust removal and preservation work that we want to do. Yeah. So Guy, what happens next with the uh, guns and the turret? Okay, the turret still needs a bit of work. Uh, we've noticed that there's a couple spots uh, on the turret itself that we need to be, needs to be smoothened out. And um, eventually we'll be getting a second coat of the, of the same color. And the gun mount itself, well, that's going to be the next big project to tackle with the guys from the, uh, the turret and gun mount crew uh, of Dave. And uh, that one is going to be very labor intensive when we get to it. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. No problem.